Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We are inside today because it's pouring again. It's been a very rainy spring. So we're going to talk about another chicken breed today. Today we're going to talk about one of the auto-sexing breeds of chicken. We're going to talk about the leg bar. This was one of the first auto-sexing breeds to come about. And what that means is the offspring are sex linked. So when they're about a day old, you can tell the difference between a boy and a girl simply by looking at them, okay? They were one of the very first birds where you could actually do that, one of the very first breeds of chicken where you could do that. Um, the the uh, Cambar chicken actually came first as an autosexing breed, but they kind of fell out of favor. They didn't really take off, so they kind of faded into obscurity. Whereas the leg bar is still with us today and is an incredibly popular breed. So there are two basic types of leg bars. Most people are probably familiar with the crested cream leg bar and its offshoot, the opal leg bar and the Isabel. So those leg bars lay blue or sometimes slightly green tinted eggs. However, the original leg bars laid white or slightly tinted eggs, and those were the gold and the silver leg bars. Now, you rarely see gold and silver leg bars these days. Um, it's basically almost not a thing anymore because they laid white eggs. They, they lay white, white eggs or slightly tinted eggs, and if you want a layer that lays white eggs and they lay a lot of white eggs, you can just get a leghorn which is actually where this breed came from. So the gold leg bar came first. They were created by crossing a white leghorn rooster with Plymouth barred rock hens, okay? Then later they were bred back to the brown leghorn, which also lays white eggs. That's why they lay white or slightly tinted eggs because that barred rock gene in there throws a little bit of the brown. So they're either white eggs because of their leghorn ancestry, or they are slightly tinted, so not quite white eggs. And those chicks are auto-sexing. The silver leg bar came about next, and that one was done by taking the gold leg bar and crossing it with the silver cam bar, which by the way, silver cam bar doesn't exist anymore. And then later, back crossing to a white leghorn again to increase production. So because of those crosses, those chickens also lay a white or a slightly tinted egg. But the gold and the silver did fall out of favor. And this is where the cream leg bar or the crested cream leg bar comes in. Okay, they are the single most popular auto sexing breed today and they lay blue or green eggs. Now this happened because you, they took the gold leg bar and crossed it back to Araucanas. Araucanas lay blue eggs, okay? These are those beautiful bright blue eggs. And so when they crossed them back, they got a bird that lays blue but sometimes green eggs. So if you have cream leg bars or opals or Isabels and they lay a slightly green tinted egg, that's actually okay because what happened in that case is you have to remember there's that barred rock in their heritage. It's not close in their heritage, but they were bred originally out of the gold leg bars, which were bred from barred rocks. So every once in a while, you'll get a leg bar today, a cream leg bar or an opal or an Isabel at leg bar that lays a green tinted egg instead of a blue. This is normal. So that doesn't mean you don't have purebred leg bars. It just means they picked up a little bit of that brown bloom, so it's a little bit of a tint on the egg, and that's fine. Now, some associations have the gold and silver leg bars as a separate breed from the cream leg bar, and some associations don't. Some associations lump them in as one breed. So if you're going to show your chickens, you have to find out which association you would be showing under and whether or not they're separate breeds. And if they are separate breeds, it doesn't really matter that much because you probably don't have gold and silvers. But just it's good for your own information to know whether you're showing them as a separate breed from the gold and silver or whether you are showing them combined with the gold and silver. So check with your local association rules because 
not everywhere does it the same especially if you still have gold and silver leg bars in your area they might be separate breeds now there is an opal like i've mentioned it's kind of like a lavender color and there is an isabel leg bar these are more experimental colors they're fairly new but those chickens also lay blue or green tinted eggs because they're closely related to that cream leg bar um, the one thing you should know about leg bars is they have a kind of funky face. Um, maybe that's just me. Um, I had leg bars uh, a couple of years ago and uh, not so much. <laughs> I wasn't super fond of the faces. I liked the eggs. I didn't like the faces, so I ended up selling my leg bars. So take a look at their faces. They're a little bit different than some of the other chickens. Um, not my thing. But they are wonderful birds. They're easy to have. They free-ranged well for me. So it wasn't an issue with the birds themselves. I just didn't like they, their faces creeped me out a little bit. So that's probably a me thing. But they are nice chickens. They were friendly. They were um, a lot of fun to have around. The chicks are auto-sexing, like I mentioned. So when they're a day old, you can put a boy and a girl chick side by side. And you can tell the difference between a male and a female. The males are lighter in color and have a small yellow spot on their head, whereas the females are darker and have more prominent stripes. So it is possible to tell them apart, which is good because that's the whole point of this breed is to be auto-sexing. And that's a good thing for layer chicks. If you're a meat breed, it doesn't really matter who's a boy or a girl because you're going to end up in the stew pot anyway. But if you're a laying breed and you're breeding laying breeds, you're going to want to pick out those females because you're in it for the eggs. So if you can pick out those females, you can have a higher female to male ratio than you might otherwise have. So it's really useful to be able to pick out those chicks in a laying breed. And like I mentioned, the leg bar is the single most popular auto sexing breed today. They are really nice birds. And if you're interested in the blue eggs and the auto sexing, I do recommend them for your farm. I just didn't like the face. <laughs> Anyway, that is about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the leg bars. We'll see you tomorrow.